we got plenty of action coming up here today in that big uh, tag match a little bit later with Lawler and Brian against Coco and Reggie B. Fine. We'll be getting to Bert Prentice, the best friend money can buy. I guess that you are a little surprised to see that we have a new number one challenging team for Saturn and Cronus the Eliminator. What I am is the best friend a wrestling fan never had. These idiots stand out here in the hot sun for three hours wanting just to see me if you can imagine. What are you doing out here, you senile old goat? Don't take that out here because I'm tired of you trying to run things around here. You say that your team definitely will not wrestle. Uh, Mike Huber right. and Luffy D. Let me tell you something. You issued a memorandum yesterday naming Spike Huber and Wolfie D the number one contenders to the World Tag Team Championship. They're not a tag team. Neither one of them can wrestle themselves out of a paper bag. And you're going to call them the number one contenders? Have you totally lost your mind? No, but let me ask you, like I say, I'm tired of you running everything. What about the spiders? It seemed like you're scared to wrestle Huber and Whoopi D. What about the spiders? Eddie, we're not afraid to wrestle Huber and that, that degenerate Whoopi D. Hey, wait, you they should you earn a wrestling. spot. They should earn a spot. We're not going to, okay. but it's not because we're afraid. Right, the bottom it. line is, you want to bring up the spiders. The last time I heard, they're down at the Greyhound bus people trying to gather enough money to go home. The spiders were the worst tag team in the world that I've ever managed. Well, wait a minute. All right, will you be willing to put your belts on the line against the spiders this week? The spiders? The spiders are horrible. Without, without me, they're way. double horrible. Let me just answer my sure. question. The spiders? You heard that. You're gonna, wait a minute. They lost their loser lead. They can't be here. I will waive that. I want you to be in a title match. If the you spiders. agree to put your belts on the line against the spiders. <laughs> the spiders. No, the spiders. <laughs> okay, this week, the spiders. Lance, you heard the spiders. Yes. And what a night deal. off. That's a done deal. Right? Done, done deal. Done deal. Okay. Oh, and wait a minute. By the way, you got a match here today. Right now? My spiders are back in the back. Why don't you have the match with the spiders and just get a feel of what they're really like? It would be our pleasure. Come on, boy. It's a uh, non-title, huh? It's a non-title bout, right? Non-title match. Tell the spiders, come on out. Okay, well, we'll get the spiders out here. Then Eddie has waived the loser leave town stipulation and you'll remember that they did have quite a bout with these guys this is my spiders oh, this is eddie spiders coming excuse me eddie marlin get back out here i will not tolerate this these are not spiders these are two goose you know who it is, Frank Huber, Wolfie D. These are not the spiders. I will not tolerate this. You will not humiliate me. Does this I... mean afraid to get in the ring? Is that what it is, afraid to get in the ring? This is a sham. Wait, Eddie said my spiders. That's what he said. And you said, oh, yeah, we'll defend the titles against them. My what this spiders. means is I am the smartest man in professional wrestling. And Eddie Marlow, you will not out-trick me. You want us to wrestle your spiders? Spider. We're going to kill your spiders. Kill them. Oh, what? there they go, heading to the ring. The USWA tag champs, the Eliminators, jumping in. And look right away, the spiders who uh, look exactly like Spike Huber and Wolfie D starting to work. They're going to drop kick Saturn thrown back by Wolfie. Wolfie D, yeah, well, I guess we can say Wolfie D and so so on his, uh, his wrestling shorts. <laughs> uh, Eddie Marlin's spiders. Of course, Eddie as a promoter is trying to get the best match possible here. He sees the team that becomes the number one contenders, and he wants to see him go against the champions. Burt Prentice and the Eliminators trying to run the show, and uh, Eddie just outsmarted Burt Prentice, don't you think? Yeah, I think that it's about time, too, because what this guy has done here in the last uh, few weeks, he deserves to have it, turning on the fans and all that. Whoa, over oh the goodness. top. There goes Cronus hitting the floor after a drop kick from one of Eddie Marlin's spiders. And the way this guy pressed Saturn up in the air, there is no, look at this, wow. him right over the top rope, out on the floor, and Cronus takes the brunt of it. 
as Bert Frenna saying, nope, you're not getting back in there with him. Wait a minute, you're not afraid of him. Hop right back in the ring with him and let's go on with the action. Uh, Bert's I ushering think them out. Yeah. yeah. Bert's ushering them to the and door. And now the mask are off, and obviously, as we knew, Wolfie D and Spike Huber were under those masks. I kind of love it when somebody sticks it to Bert Prentice like that, as uh, he did in that yeah. situation. He did indeed. The referee has counted him out, and that is going to be it. It's going to be a victory for uh, uh, Spike Huber and Wolfie D. That's yes. obviously who it is. They got a victory, but it's not a title match. No wonder they don't want to get in there with the titles on the line. We got more action coming up, and we'll be back in a moment. I love that. When they 